what is the biggest misconception of you? What's one thing people think about you, but it's not true? That's a good question. Man, what's the biggest misconception of you? What's one thing people think about Mr. Hotspot, but it's false? If you have one, I don't know if you have a misconception of you or not. I'm not sure if I have one. I'm not sure if I have one. I want to ask you a question respectfully. Yes, sir. Okay. Do people ever think you're slow? Not the people that's close around me. Yeah. They know I turn up. And when they use that word slow, like comments, I believe they're speaking about like, oh, he playing a lot. Stuff like that. <laughs> The stuff that you do, like when we see some of your things on social media where you're saying good morning and smiling and you're acting goofy and this, that, and the third, is this really you or is this a character you're playing? Is this, what is this? It's like, I just want people to have a good day. So that's the type of energy that I have to put out for them to receive it. Now, craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Mm, not sure. That's a good question. Now, are you not sure because so many rumors you can't think of one? Or are you not sure because not enough rumors you could think of one? Um, people, we like, speak positive to each other. So if it's a rumor, most of the time it's positive. So. If it's not, I really don't pay attention to it. Is there a question people ask you, you cannot stand, maybe you hate to answer? It's not that I hate answering it, but a question that I receive a lot is, have you, like how tall are you? And it's six four for people who don't know. When people see you in person, are they surprised at your height? Yeah, or? they're like, I didn't know you was this tall. I'm like, yeah, there's the father and mother, 6'4". Now, you mentioned father and mother. Please reference that here. Who are you speaking of exactly? So, at the church I go to, we believe in both God the Father and God the Mother. So, when, when we always give thanks to father and mother. So, we believe in God the Father and God the Mother. So most people, they believe in God the Father at the churches they go to. But as children of God, the Bible testifies that we have God the Mother. And care to share what church this is? Care to share what religion this is? Yeah, so it's the World Mission Society Church of God. And it's Christianity. It's just, it's the only church that believes in God the Father and God the Mother in the flesh. So it's real good news for us that's here on this earth that our God will come in the flesh to save us from sin and death. So our mother has to come in the flesh to give us eternal life because only mothers could give eternal life. So at the church that I go to, we believe in God the Father and God the Mother. And we also show and share through the Bible. This is a church located in Atlanta? Uh, it's over 8,000 churches around the world, but it's some branches located in the Atlanta area like Marietta, Alpharetta, Buford, Norcross, things like that. Now, do you care what people think of you? No, not really. I mean, yeah, not really. You had to think about that for a second. Yeah. Were you always like this, or was there a time when you cared about another person's opinion of you? Mm, if they have some type of opinion that's wrong, I try to fix it. And uh, I, I love people, so whatever I could do to fix their mindset, if it's wrong, I'm willing to. Now, what about some of the things you do on social media? Do you mm -hmm. care not about what people think of you, but some of the things that you do on social media? So whether it's dancing, whether it's music, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, the social media, I don't, I don't, I'm using this term loosely, skits. I, I, I don't know what you call it, but you know, when you're doing things about smiling and right. being goofy and things of that nature, mm -hmm. do you care about a people's opinion, 
not of you, but of those aspects of you. So I do take big consideration in who's watching. So that is so important to me. So of course, every video that I put out, I double think about it and it's real important because I value the people who are watching it too. You know, I care for them, so I gotta watch out what type of content I put out, make sure I'm not cursing in it, make sure I'm doing all positive things uh, since they watching it. It's like food. You know, when you cook some food, right? You cook some food, uh, you gotta cook it with some care, some consideration. And when you serve it, you hope that whoever eat it likes it. And that's why I understand my mom a little bit more now too, that mother's love. Your mom ever asked you like, is it good after she finished cooking? Cause she really care if it's tasting good. <laughs> so I understand my mother a little bit more now. Yeah, that's how it is with videos and all that good stuff. What are your keys to success? What are some things that make you successful up until this point? I could just give thanks to Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. I'm going to tell the truth. Um, before I start going to the church I was telling you about, I only had around like 200,000 followers. And once I uh, went to the Church of God and we started learning about Mother's teachings, trying to put them into practice, my videos changed, all of that. And then I could see it grow from 200,000 to a million. So I really think mother's teachings uh, is the key to success here physically and spiritually. Now, in regards to the church you attend mm -hmm. and the religion you follow, I know you on social media at this point, you also mention you, I don't know if you give thanks or you just shout, you know, Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Father on your bio, yeah. on your Instagram, for example. Yeah. But, you know, I know religion is a very touchy subject. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this question I'm asking, I'll just ask. Oh, it's but, no problem. Okay. But do you catch flack for that? Do you catch flack from people that don't believe in that angle or don't believe, you know, the Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Father aspect of the church you attend? Do mm -hmm. you catch comments? Do you catch direct messages about people that are either trying to understand or yeah. trying to put it down or trying to contest? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you catch, do you catch these things? So, this is how you could explain it. You actually, uh, our mother teach us to show love, right? To give love. So most of the time they really can't say nothing too bad about what's going on because we just want to do the will of God. So we just show love, really. And if, if it is a misconception uh, or, or something that they don't understand at the time, we willing to explain, to go that extra mile to explain like, Okay, we in the current situation right now where all mankind going towards death. We understand you never heard this before, but uh, you can see through the prophecies that our mother got to come to give us eternal life. And once they understand that, most of the time they want to roll and want to study more about it. So it's really exciting.